Hey guys, Mr. T here. This is another video. This one is on matrix addition and subtraction and the zero matrix. So thankfully we can start some maths now. Because all the previous videos have been just some definitions. There's going to be one definition here of the zero matrix, but that's fine. We're going to learn how to add or subtract matrices. So the first thing to um, understand is you can only add or subtract matrices that have the same order. Um, to add or subtract matrices, what you do is add or subtract corresponding elements. So elements in the same position in both matrices, meaning they have the same I and J positioning. Once all of the corresponding elements have been added or subtracted, the result is actually another matrix that has the same order as the two matrices you added in the first place. Added or subtracted, sorry. So for example, if we're given the matrices below A, B and C, uh, question one is finding what A plus B is. So <clears throat> let's answer the first one, A plus B. That is going to be adding matrix A, 6, 5, 4, with B, 2, 1, 6, 0, 3, 5. These have the same order. They are both 2 by 3. So we can add them together. So the intermediate step is finding the sum of the elements in the same position. So in the top left, you have 1 plus 2. In the middle, at the top, is 2 plus 1. On the right, at the top, it's 3 plus 6. So we've done that top row. The bottom row is going to be 6 plus 0. The middle, in the bottom row, is going to be 5 plus 3. And the right, in the bottom row, is going to be 4 plus 5. So the solution, like I said above, is going to be a matrix with the same order, 2 by 3, where the numbers have actually been added together in corresponding positions. So 1 plus 2 is going to be 3, 2 plus 1 is going to be 3, 3 plus 6 is 9, 6 plus nil is 6, 5 plus 3 is 8, 4 plus 5 is 9. So that is the solution to A plus B. Question B, A plus C. Well, A and C, you'll notice, do not have the same order. This is 2 by 2. So you have to say A and C do not have the same order. So cannot be added, therefore no solution. Alright, so you cannot actually add or subtract matrices together that don't have the same order. C, B, take a. So the process is the same, except you're taking this time. So you're taking away A from B, so this is going to be 2, 1, 6, 0, 3, 5, minus 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 4. Intermediate step, <clears throat> the top left position is going to be 2, take 1. The top middle position is going to be 1, take 2. The top right position is going to be 6, take 3. Bottom row is going to be 0, take 6, 3, take 5, 5, take 4. So the result is going to be something with the same order as the things being added together or subtracted together. This is going to be 2, take 1 is 1, 1, take 2 is negative 1, 6, take 3 is 3, 0, take 6, negative 6, 3, take 5, negative 2, 5 take 4 is 1. So that is the solution to B take A. So that's a quick overview of matrix addition and subtraction. Things to note, you can't add or subtract them if they don't have the same order. And the solution is always something, uh, a, a matrix with the same order as the things you're adding and subtracting together. And the intermediate solution is just working out the additions or subtractions for everything in the same position. Uh, lastly, is a little definition here. A zero matrix. A zero matrix is just a matrix where all the elements are zero. Okay, so not too difficult there. So a zero matrix with the order 3, 2 looks like. So that means it's got three rows and two columns. So you're going to have three rows with two columns of zero. That has the order of 3 by 2. So that is a zero matrix with the order 3 by 2.
So hopefully that helps you out with matrix addition and subtraction and knowing what a zero matrix is. And I'll see you on the next video.